Yeah. Well, there's one on the south side. There's no beach there. So the tide must be. Yeah. Which is probably right because there's pelicans are on the rocks and not on the beach. So it's called Pelican Rock. So you reckon that's... Is that what it's called? That's what I've called it. Oh, I think it is called that. It's Pelican Rock, people. I just think it was called Black, Black Rock. I don't know, where's my phone? I'll call it Pelican. So what do you like about Port Clinton? So is it looking south, you reckon? Looking south? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, yeah maybe south, east. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think. You've been on lots of fishing adventures up that way. Yeah. Does that have... Is that video on? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Do we sit there going, huh? South, north? <laughs> it's uh, entitled Pelican Rock. I can't explain that to you. I don't know why it's called Pelican Rock. By an unknown artist, because there's no signature in the corner. So <laughs> I don't know who did this one. Uh, it's in the mouth of the bay. And the bay's sort of got four, three arms to it. The south arm goes for about 10 kilometres up into the army country. In that direction. In the, in the Shoalwater Bay military training area. And it's a really um, magical place, isn't it, James? Yes. And we've been on plenty of fishing adventures up there. And we've even eaten oysters off these rocks. <laughs> really? Mm. You've got to pick the ones that don't have pelican poo on them, but... <laughs> But it's, yeah, it's unreal. Like, there's dugongs up there. We've seen humpbacks swimming around inside the, the mouth of the bay. And there's manta rays in there. and Big turtles. Big turtles. And it's, it's really known for the big crabs that get up there. Everything's big in Port Clinton. But apart from a bit of um, commercial and recreational crabbing and fishing, there's it's pretty much no one goes there except the odd boaty going up the coast. Um, and occasionally when there's a military exercise on, there's yeah, people running around the military training area, which is a, an enormous area, but they, they do use this, this area too. But yeah, it's just a really magic place, it's a bit remote and the fishing is fantastic. And yeah, and when you're up there you just feel like you're king of the world kind of thing, because you've got this beautiful place all to yourself, and maybe the odd other fishermen. And yeah, it's just incredible. And it's a good thing it's, it's a few hours boat ride away. There's not many people get up there. And far enough away to be a journey, but not far enough to go up there fishing for the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, so it's a little bit out of reach, but that just sort of makes it all the more special. But lots of good memories. James catching big jewfish. Big cods. Yeah. It's not really deep around here, near the mouth, but once you get back in, there's actually a hole that's about 40 metres deep where you catch a lot of big jewfish and other things. And yeah, amazing. That's awesome. That's not about, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, guys, for... Um... He didn't say anything. <laughs> and what do you think of the painting? Do you think you're going to critique it, James? More importantly, I like the subject. Well, thanks for your time, guys. No worries.